And moving on to Spring Yard Zone. Yeah, one. Spring Yard. Spring Yard's good fun. Sort of. Later, it kind of sort of the proto uh, Casino Night Zone. Yeah, I was going to say, it's sort of the early version of Casino Night. Only Casino Night is often thought of as being better, I think. I love this. I'm wearing the speed shoes and I can't do a goddamn thing about it. <laughs> yeah, I always remember that because you, you, you're stuck with these speed shoes and you can't bloody use them. But, um... Um... I lost my train of thought again. I keep getting distracted. Uh, what was I'm I trying, saying? I'm trying to make this uh, jump up to the platform and... Zip. Oh, you miss. <laughs> I still have no idea what's up there. Um... Just coins, I think. <laughs> you just stand there and get zapped by the spikes. Yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to remember exactly what's here, and I keep hitting these damn things. That's fine. Yeah. What was I talking about? Uh, I don't know. Nah, yeah, me, me, me neither. I'm sure it wasn't important. Oh yeah, that Steam library thing. The the, pro the reason I... Oh yeah, that's right. The Let's Play forums. Yeah, because they do seem very elitist. It's like... Now you got these people who are clearly ingrained, like there was this one Let's Play forum that says you're not allowed to start a topic to say, you know, hey I've got a Let's Play, until you've posted like 20 other posts, which is just like... Well, they just don't want people to do a dump and run, they don't want people to make it all about them. I want them. to dump and run, I don't have time to hang around on these forums, I've got friggin' Let's Plays to record, ironically enough. <laughs> it takes a long time to... Uh, record a let's play. Well, record and produce. Seeing as I have yeah. to produce it twice in order to get the bloody thing to work. So it doubles my pr production time. <laughs> oh. Just... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, okay, okay fuck it, whatever. Da -da -da -da. I like the music on this level. I, I love all the music in this game, which is so weird that uh, the game itself, I just wish I liked it more. I always say, the, the music fucking... in all the Sonic games is consistently good. Yeah, like, those damn purple crab things. This is like cheap shot, the game. So many, <laughs> there's so many cheap shots all over this fucking game. Well, again, it was the first game in the series. You can't blame the first game of a franchise for being rough around the edges. That's yes, you just, can. Well, you, you can, but it doesn't really hold up. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, the, the Let's Play community, you know, I want to put my name out there, but it just seems like so much effort for what is potentially so little friggin' reward. Yeah, it's because you work so hard on these things and you get, like, one view out of it. <laughs> yeah, which is irritating as hell. Subscribe to my channel. Um... <laughs> Well, you look, you've got a lot more subscribers than I have. If I can snag a few of yours, I'm fine with that. I really have no <laughs> problem with it whatsoever. I'm not sure which channel of mine this is going up on. This might go up on my Let's Play channel. Do you have less on that? Yes. Oh. Less than you have, actually. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> fuck it. Well, to be honest, even if I can steal a few of yours from there, that would be pretty good. Because you've got, you've got like a... What is it, a thousand subscribers on your... On my main YouTube? channel, I have about 1,900. Oh, is it 1,900? <laughs> I had 2,000, but then the YouTube purge happened, and I fell back down. <laughs> the purge. <laughs> the purge of 2016. Yeah, because didn't, like, the really popular people you lose, like, millions? Uh, I think PewDiePie lost, like, 700,000. Because he didn't YouTube... Yeah, he lost more subscribers than most people will ever have. Yeah, probably. <laughs> But like, from what I understand, he didn't actually lose the subscribers, he just... They weren't really subscribed in the first place. Right. They were like bots or inactive accounts or things like that. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because didn't, didn't YouTube, like, we have no idea how this happened? Yeah. Nope, you Again, got Again, cheap shots of those guys, yeah. Yeah. Are those things supposed to look like Sonic? I don't know. Because they have, like, um, the blue on them and the red and... Uh, maybe, maybe not. I have, frankly, no idea. Just one of those design choices, I suppose.
so yeah, weird perch. I, I actually lost a couple because I was really pleased that I got 150 subscribers and then the perch happened and I lost three. <laughs> Which um, I know doesn't sound like a lot, but in terms of percentages, that's probably roughly about the same as PewDiePie, maybe. I don't know. It still, it still stung because I've been really pleased to hear. I'm deliberately <laughs> avoiding running really fast because I have no idea what I'm going up against. <laughs> Oh, you're on the... Is this the third level? This is the yeah, third Spring level. Yeah, Spring Yard Zone 3. Yeah. I can't remember, to be honest. It's, it has been a long time since I played the first Sonic game. I think the last time I played Sonic, it was Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh... Which yeah, I, yeah, I, I picked this up during the uh, the the Sonic bundle, the Sonic Humble bundle. Yeah. And I had a bunch of the other uh, so uh, Genesis classics on my account. So these were recently added to it. And I'm, I've heard so many good things about the Sonic series, I wanted to give them a fair shot. So this is like my, like I was saying, this is just like a serious attempt at actually beating the first Sonic game, which I actually managed to do here. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, the, the, the Sonic games, I mean, by today's standards, they are a little simplistic. You can see the design choices. I, yeah, you can see the simplicity in like Super Mario World as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, it, it all comes from that same sort of era. Gaming was still kind of a new thing, you know? If people weren't 100% sure what to do, it was just small teams of people working in an office somewhere. They weren't like multi-billion dollar companies at this point. So, you know, no. everything was all sort of fresh. It was all sort of bright-eyed and we had no idea the shit that was coming our way. Um, Which is still very true in the sense of a lot of indie game companies. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, I mean, some indie game companies are good, some not so good. But, uh, I mean, you yeah, name, you have you to... Do you name any names? Um, no, I don't do that. <laughs> <coughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, there are plenty of... Um, I mean, there are lots of good indie game companies out there. We could always name some of those, but um, I'm no mostly game. not. I'm mostly not going to name any names because I can't remember any names, um, <laughs> which kind of defeats the purpose. But, Mojang, um, Moss Mouth. Uh, mm. I can't think of any more. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the indie I, scene. This, this section right here. I usually I try to go back because just to the left there's an invincibility monitor. But I have died so many fucking times trying to get across this fast that I just I just decided fuck it and just <laughs> take my time. Yeah, I mean you're not really supposed to go fast. It's supposed uh, to. This is slow. probably my least favorite boss. It's annoying. Yes, in a way, you, you've got a kind of timer on it. I mean, yeah. Not, not the just the timer, timer, but also his position and everything, and. He, the way that his height is, it's like you can sometimes hit him from the floor, but sometimes you can't. Because well, he's very slowly moving up and down. Oh, yeah, no almost rings. died right there. I'm starting to run out of spots to stand on. Hey, there he goes. And I'm, I'm just standing right here. I'm not going to try to chase after him or anything. I'm just Because I don't know if the game's going to try to eat my input when I jump across those holes or whatever, so I just wait for the game to stop lagging entirely and just move on, because I yeah, didn't want to fuck that up. Well, yeah, you really wouldn't want to have to do the boss again. That, that would not be fun. Oh, Labyrinth Zone. Oh, Labyrinth Zone, yes. Oh, uh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, yeah, everybody hates the water level. Um, now you know the true terror that Sonic fans felt. <laughs> Of that fucking countdown timer, waiting for that fucking bubble. You I believe that happens that. once here. You actually died to the bubble? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, well. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I just stay and I very patiently wait for the bubble when I have plenty of time left because you never know when the next one's gonna be. Exactly. I, I, I don't know quite what the thinking was with the sort of programming behind it. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be as random and arbitrary as it ended up being. I don't know. But yeah, the, the, I cannot count the number of times I died because it wouldn't spawn a fucking bubble. Oh. Um, I think it's actually supposed to spawn it. It's supposed to be like a counter from the time that the thing loads there's supposed to be a certain amount of time i think it's like, so because it always like once you once you get one to one for the first time 
One t a bubble tends to spawn like instantly, like a second later. But if you have already loaded it before, then it's not the same. Yeah, which can be a problem if the uh, if say something stops you from getting to that first bubble. Yeah. Which is really, really annoying. But, um, yeah, I remember, I mean, even in the, uh... <coughs> Interestingly enough, in the Master System version, it has a similar level, because the Master System version is sort of based on this, so the levels are sort of vaguely similar. Not entirely, like, the Master System level has... I think the second world is called Bridge. I'm taking this part with the swinging balls very slowly because the way you jump in the water, it makes it impossible to dodge those things if you. Now, I do fuck find up. it very funny. A lot of Sonic fans these days go on and on and on about how you could zoom through the early Sonic games. If you actually stop and look at it, you really couldn't. The yeah. first um, uh, Green Hill Zone, yeah, that's designed for speed, but then you get in. It's It kind of goes. It kind of alternates between a platforming level and a speed level. Yeah. Because Marble Zone is very much not designed for speed. Uh, Spring Yard, more so. But then you go into Labyrinth, you go into Labyrinth Zone, and then uh, Starlight Zone, again, is more of a speed level. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I have no excuse for what happened right there. <laughs> I did notice you were getting a bit of lag. But that was oh, because, well, because the lag, it happens whenever you lose that many rings because the game calculates their uh, trajectory individually. Yeah, but I, I don't remember getting... really, really lags the system. I don't remember getting lag on the emulator. Hmm. No. But we've it's already supposed, discussed this. It's supposed this to be accurate. Very, this is a not a very good emulator. We know this already. Or maybe it is a really good emulator. That's what... <laughs> I don't remember getting it in the original version either. Oh well. But yeah, the uh, get um, ready for pain for this section. Let's count just how long it takes me to get over this one fucking jump. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> oh. That's why that doesn't count. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I I remember that. Yeah, those corks are fucking horrible. And you're all the way back on the other side of the spike. Oh yes, way back here. The spears are really annoying too, because they don't even fully retract. They're, they're still there. They're still there to stab you, but they're just not as <laughs> as out there. They're just yeah. like, fuck it, I'm just gonna run past these things. The water didn't even decide to come down. It's like, oh wait, you're going back up. I'm gonna go back up. <laughs> it's that like they didn't want to be completely douchey about the whole thing. And I think also, in a way, that kind of introduces you to what the the, um, the corks do. Yeah, corks are supposed to do, yeah, because they float up and down. It just reminds me of a joke. Funniest headline I ever saw in Ireland was Cork Man Drowns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear, you're going around in circles. Yeah. Are we gonna be here a while? Oh yes. Oh, oh no, you missed. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this I will say that fire section. breathing. That fire breathing head is a bit of a bitch. It's a douche. Here's another one. Yeah, I made it past it. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny. I and I have laugh. no ring, so if I get shot again, I'm dead. Yeah, you, I shouldn't laugh at other people's misfortunes, but it is funny. Well, I I wouldn't have brought it up if... You weren't willing to laugh at it. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't get crushed. <laughs> I will say, you're not doing terribly. That's supposed to be one of those, one of the grounders from... That was the, the guy from Sonic the series, yeah. Yes, from the uh, cartoon. Uh, at least that's what it was based on, you know. Let me check it. Is there anything on the left? No. A little grounder going a little nuts right there. I can't remember if it was based on... I'm trying to remember actually which version it was based on. No giant ring for you. I'm still hoping there would be like a 10,000 up there. And that was Act 1. <laughs> <laughs> 
just barely getting through Labyrinth Zone Act 1. Yeah, everybody fucking hates the Labyrinth Zone. Like, everybody. Oh yes, now we get this fun moment. Am I thinking of the other version of the game? Oh, that's right, I'm thinking of the other version of the game. Were we saying this level or is it just later on? Um, it might be later on. Are you tell me where it loops? Yeah. Yeah, that's Labyrinth Zone 3. Is, is, oh, is that Zone 3? Right, okay. See, this is the thing, my memory is so foggy about this whole thing, I can't remember where everything is. Ah, <laughs> oh, that countdown music gets you going every time. <laughs> Luckily there was one right there for it. It's like that um, ring from um, Metal Gear Solid, you know, people react to it instinctively. <laughs> yeah. You hear the ring and you hide, you hear that thing and suddenly you start rushing around looking for an air bubble. Uh, you should set that as your alarm in the morning. <laughs> it wouldn't last long enough, trust me, it takes way more than 30 seconds to wake me up. Or however long the thing lasts. I would imagine like five seconds. Um, I don't know if they are exactly seconds, but uh, yeah, you're probably right. I would make a good alarm, actually, wouldn't it? <laughs> I still don't know what that switch does. Which hidden behind the monitor there. Um, I figured it would open a door somewhere, but I don't know where that door would be. I don't know. I again, I can't remember the details exactly. I think it opens something. It must open something somewhere. I just, I don't remember the details. Sorry. Uh, this probably, fucking probably... spiked ball. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! I'm like standing there, like you bastard. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what do you think of the special stages in this game? Do you like them or do you hate them? Um, I think they're good. They kind of... They, they're they very similar to like the Mode 7 that you'd see in a Super NES game. Mm. Or, like the scaling and everything. Yeah. I will say, I think my favorite special stage is from um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, obviously. Where you're running um, into... Where you're running against like the spheres. Uh, yeah, this, this, the Blue Sphere minigame, which is, I think, I think, I don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty yeah, sure I have that's... no idea how you're supposed to avoid his shots and still get the damn bubble. Um, luck. <laughs> or, you know, get good. Ooh, almost on the spikes there. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Ooh. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. See? That's the tension. That is spikes. the true tension that the Sonic Air Bubble can get you. <laughs> that is worse than anything in Amnesia or Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> no, no extra points. No, no bonus points. Yeah, that one went actually a lot better than, than Act 1, but now we're moving on to Labyrinth Zone 3. Yeah, this this one's annoying. Of course, technically not the last Labyrinth-style zone you go through. No. There's one there's more, that, which, um... Again, takes you by surprise. Very, uh... Adjective memories of that. <laughs> well... It was a nice surprise. Supposedly there's a way to clip through that wall if you it, get down there in time. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, but again, that's this a speedrunning thing. That's I never speed really did trick, yeah. speed running stuff. You know, that was never really why I played it. Um, well, I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog probably lends itself much better to speedrunning than most other games because it's kind of the way the game is designed. Oh, it's designed with speed in mind, isn't it? And that, yeah. That was always that. That was always the thing about Sonic being sort of better than Mario in that sense. You know, Mario was arguably better at platforming, but Sonic could go faster, you know, and it, it was um, kind of a, 
it, it was a selling point, really, of Sonic. That yeah, with the fact that the NES couldn't handle things that quickly. They had, like, this is what they called blast processing. Mm. The fact that the NES just couldn't go that fast. They just didn't have the processing ability to go that quickly. Yeah. But then you had some stuff like Super NES, and it, it was just as capable. Ooh. Yep, now you're all right. Yeah, that one's not too bad. I'm willing to bet I know where you're going to die to drowning later on in oh. this level. Because <laughs> it's the same place where I always drowned when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm curious if you get it right, because I do, in fact, drown later on. Is it the place with the three corks? We'll see. Okay, fair enough. It's the place with the three corks. <laughs> it's always the place with the three fucking corks. Oh, this, actually. Point yeah, right here with the corks. I remember this. Oh, boy. Do I remember this. At least I'm nice <laughs> enough to give you a fucking checkpoint. Yep. And that's what always happened to me, and you're gonna die. I think this is actually a design flaw with the level, because there's absolutely no way to get back up here. The only way to continue is to actually reload the section. Um, and that means moving far away, far enough away from it. Yeah, it's pretty bad design, actually. Um, it's pretty much the only point of really bad design. I mean, okay, there's a few douchey things in this game, but that's about the only thing that's really, like, really bad design, I think. That, you know, you really do have to, like, react at the speed of light. Oh, you didn't die. <laughs> you fooled me. To be honest, that's where I usually die. I thought so I was going to die there, but I made it to the bubble in time, and thankfully it did actually reload them when I got there. Oh, well you could die here. Oh no, the water stopped. So do you die to water? Yes, later on. Oh, okay. Oh, is it during the boss? No. I'm trying to remember, what is the boss for this level? Is that just one way, one way you just chase Eggman around? Yeah, the one where you have, just have to chase after him, and thankfully I did read, or I like, heard somewhere, that you don't actually have to defeat him, which would have no. made this fucking impossible. Well, you, you can't do it by defeating him You can him defeat well. him if you get after him in time, but he's actually, he's programmed to be, like, far enough away from you, so if you do try to chase after him, it's impossible. It is so goddamn hard to actually hit him. Yeah. You Especially just have when to you have, have these damn spears in the way. Yeah, it's mostly, it's one of those games where you just have to learn to take your time and not fall into the... Ooh, that glitch. Yeah, yeah, that's that's weird. It's like a weird glitchy en enemy. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It like might be one though. of those uh, grounders. I think it looked it moved like a grounder, even though it was missing though. <laughs> missing though. It looked like uh. it. Ooh. Oh dear, you're dead. Am I? Oh. Even though he's above water, he still can't breathe. <laughs> You lied. <laughs> Never I didn't say I drowned in Labyrinth Zone. That is true. You didn't. <laughs> so you died in the third Scrap Brain level? Yes. Oh, fair enough. <laughs>